Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about Sling Dynamic Include or Partial Page Caching. So before I move further in this tutorial, let me explain a scenario. So I have a component which generate a random number. So when I use this component over a page, it works perfectly. Whenever I reload this page, it generate a new random number. This is the functionality I, I am trying to achieve and it's working fine completely on my AM. But when I load this page over dispatcher how end user will access this page so over dispatcher this page load perfectly without an issue so but when i reload this you see the number is not generating right new number is not generating ideally my functionality is whenever i reload this page this component should generate a new number which is the expected functionality but over dispatcher nothing is happening what is the reason reason is cached right on dispatcher this page is cached and along with this page entire content over this page is cached so what do i want i want entire page cache but without this section means i do not want this component to be cached over this page but this is not the behavior of our dispatcher caching so so as per the functionality provided by dispatcher or apache either i can cache entire page or i can exclude the cache of this page but my scenario is i want entire page to be cached except this component so we will achieve this using sling dynamic include and this is called partial caching or partial section caching this is not the standard term sling dynamic include is a standard term but what we are trying to achieve what did i explain to you so as I explained partial caching i'm trying to achieve and i'm trying to exclude the caching of a specific component so how will achieve that so this will be achieved as i said sling dynamic include so for that you have to create two configurations you have to create configuration over aem and you have to create configuration over dispatcher so as i said you have to create osgi configuration at aem end and you have to create a dispatcher configuration at dispatcher end but this functionality is not available in aem out of the box so you have to provide this functionality how you will provide so that functionality is already available with the sling the specific functionality available you just need to include that bundle in your aem you have to install it either you can install straight away or you can include as a dependency in your project in your code base so to simplicity i will install this as in my aem straight away so go there in sling dynamic uh, sling uh, website download that so to download bundle go to the apache sling apache download page and you will find dynamic include download that bundle the code this code is also available i'm downloading bundle straight away you can install that i will leave in description the dependency how you can include in your code base so that this bundle has been downloaded straight away you can install in your am once you download you will find a additional bundle here if you see here this apache sling dynamic include and on install of this bundle you will find an additional osgi configuration which i will explain so once you install your bundle you will find a configuration called apache sling dynamic include configuration you have to provide your configuration and the behavior how this sdi sling dynamic include should work so once you are done you have to perform three and four steps first you have to enable a module uh, on your web server called mode underscore include dot so so this is the module which is not enabled in your web server means in your uh, dispatcher you have to enable this module first once you enable then you have to add these configuration in your virtual host where you will add these properties that is important and tricky i'll let you explain when i'll show you these files once you are done then you have to add a additional rule for cache so as i said this these configuration are something you will 
add in your OSGI configuration. So let me explain those, then you will be able to relate these configurations. So these steps you have to perform once you install your Apache, this Sling Dynamic in bundle. So to add OSGI configuration, go to this configuration manager. Ideally, you will have these configuration in your code base. So search Apache Sling Dynamic Include. This is a factory configuration. So you can create any number of configuration as per your need and as per your website. So you can let me create one. So first thing is enable. So if you want to enable this functionality, you have to enable it. Second is base path for which content or which website you want to enable this configuration or this SDI. This is important. What resource type means what components you want to enable this SDI Sling Dynamic include. What kind of SDI means there's three type of this functionality available SSI, uh, this server side include javascript include and esi so as part of this tutorial we'll talk about ssi server side include add comments means you will if you check this you will able to see some comments in your view source so that will be easy for debug we'll see this in this demo filter selector that is very important this you will use this selector in your dispatcher configuration when you write a cache rule this selector will be used so it's up to you whatever you want to add it but as am uh, documentation says no cache so i added no cache is completely up to you what do you want to add here extension if you want to have any extension along with this selector ttl I will explain this in a separate tutorial because this is a big topic and this need a additional information. So I'll explain this required header. So this SDI Sling Dynamic Include will only enable if the request has this header, right? You can add your own header, but keep it this for now because your dispatcher add this header. Ignore URL. So generally when you have any parameters in your URL, SDI Sling Dynamic Include exclude that request. So SDI will not apply on that request. But if you want to process any request which has the parameters, you have to add those parameters under this, right? Including path rewriting if you are using any rewriting and already enabled uh, link rewriting and all. We'll explain these further in a separate tutorial. So these are another a uh, few additional functionality you have to see we'll see in a separate tutorial so let's understand this basic concept first okay so the important is base path include add comment filter selector ttl we'll see later required header and ignore parameters one more thing you must understand here if you have if you're using editable templates keep in mind you may face this issue if you are using editable templates and you have added any component in your initial section and if you do not want cache of that any component added in initial section so you have to create one more instance of this configuration for the same site and base path should be slash conf okay slash conf because those components are served from the slash conf okay again if you have added component in uh, initial section you have to create one more instance of this configuration and that path should be slash conf so we are done with the aem part we have installed this bundle and we have created a configuration for our aem geeks us site now let's configure the dispatcher part so the first thing you have to do enable sling more this mod include module in your apache so that must be in httpd conf open here and search for uh, slash mod slash include include right this one we found and this is commented so remove this comment enable this module first save this second part was to add three properties in your vhost so we are doing it for aem geeks go to the virtual host of aem geeks file okay so it must be conf d and vhost apa am geeks vhost open this 
so the important part here in this where you will add this configuration or these properties your virtual host start from here and it goes till end and you have multiple directory tags here and every implementation has more or less tags so the thumb rule is where you define a directory for your cache folder there you have to add so if you see there is a one directory there is a if module but where i define so you must have along with you must have this tag where i'm defining here if you see the folder of my cache for this website try to include those configuration here those will 99 percent work okay ideally it will work so in case if you have a different configuration so check there check your configuration add add accordingly so i'll add here let me copy and paste okay these three configuration which i told you this follow sim link include allow none and add output filter include dot html so these three properties you will add here and i'm done now third part is you have to add a additional cache rule which says don't cache request if has this selector which the selector we added in osgi configuration and what was that no cache so go to the farm file where you define your configuration of your website so inside my configuration are inside my amgeeks.form find your farm file and add this configuration where you can have scattered this file but where you should have let me explain that go to the cache configuration you will definitely have this section in your farm file right where you will find some rules you will find this rule tag here right so inside this you have to add a additional rules find their cache section and then rules inside this you can have additional rules are already there so my rule default rules are under this file and i have to add one more rule here so what i'm saying here you can name it anything i just mentioned random 009 okay what i'm saying so what i'm saying whenever there is a selector i'm saying star dot no cache so it star for anything it's a regex if it found a selector called no cache before extension html deny the caching of it right deny the caching of it so it will not cache any request if it has a no cache selector and a header what we define in our osgi configuration so that header will be added by itself your apache or your dispatcher right here we are checking the selector so whatever the selector you define there in osgi configuration you have to add it here okay it must be same so we are done with our configuration let me save it and let's restart our apache so we are done but let me clear the cache of already existing uh, so it might cached earlier so let me remove the earlier cache as well if i refresh this page see the different number is coming and again the different number is coming whenever i reload this page means whenever i access this component so if we go back and check the cache whether really we have a cache or not for this page so make a cache is here right inside i have a folder and you will see am geeks us and en and the sgi page so the cache is already there we already have a cache for it but still it's generating so entire content is cached except this one okay how we verify like this is happening so go there in your cache file and open this if you right just open this html and let me open in a text editor so you will see here my this i don't see a html for that component it is comment out so that is not coming from my cache rest entire thing is coming from the cache but content of this page is not coming from the cache and you will see these comments so now why you see these comments even go to the page and see the comments here okay 12 and let me open right okay you will see these comments so by this you can identify you can search where this component is so that is it is not getting cached and even you can check in your logs file so if you see here 
this page is requested and when it comes to a specific rule or specific URL you see here checking for this okay and you say request URL not in cache rules so this is not in cache rule and this is not caching okay entire page is coming from the cache but this section is not coming from the cache and even if you reload you can see it okay let me do one more thing let me change this text here and we'll see what happens I'll change this text okay and uh, we'll see that here on dispatcher as well as in AEM so you will see I updated this text here inside page I am saying number updated so on uh, AEM it's you will see this text here but if I still open without clearing cache so if I refresh this you will see this number has been updated because this is not coming from the cache but still this text is coming from cache right so even if I change any other content without this flushing dispatcher cache right so still these content is coming from the cache but this section this section is not coming from my cache so that is the use of sling dynamic include you are dynamically including your resource at your dispatcher end i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you